Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a Genesect solo raid. Okay, so this is going to be done by Latios NYC. Big shout out to him. He is one of my moderators. I really do appreciate that all the time. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. All those Moltres are going to be level 40, around level 40, and Shadow. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, so he is going to have a Weather Boost, Fury Color, and X Scissor is going to be the moveset on the Genesect. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. So now, if you're thinking, I will never be able to do this, I'm not level 40. It's taking forever for me to even get there to power up my Pokemon. Well, th these Pokemon are at level 40, essentially. The best buddy one is, you know, going to be 42 uh, with an additional power up. But if you cannot have access to Pokemon that can be powered up beyond level 40 because of your level, well, Shadow Pokemon are going to be another option here. And if you're wondering, how did he get so many of these Shadow Moltres? Well, you can hold on to Rocket Radars save them you can actually stack up to three and use them when say a specific legendary rolls around you can continue to encounter giovanni if you continue to activate it uh, you can just go around and look for it or you can meet him in the balloon so there you go and he was able to get enough and well he's all set here as far as the ivs that's going to be a re-roll that you're going to well not a re-roll that's just going to have to be a roll of the dice for you unless you did pick one up at GoFest, where you're going to be guaranteed a decent iv one of the, each of the legendary birds as well as a Mewtwo. So he did say this was a one and done and it was over. So think about if you did have a, say a Mega Charizard Y in Sunny Weather, it is going to be absolutely shredding that Genesect. So you're going to be able to take this out. So this is a potential legendary raid that people can go around and maybe comfortably slow solo each and every single time you do enter without having to redo it if you do get this move set potentially also with sunny weather so you have to look out for that so a few things that you have to dodge but it is doable and that is pretty awesome so yeah if you're not level 40 shadow pokemon another option i know there is that another dilemma where okay well i have the you know moltres but i need to tm away frustration yep well we have to wait for an event for that there is a bypass and that's buying a secondary move if you're brave enough to do so but that's all on you, and uh, I'm not going to say go ahead and do it, but it's your, ch your choice, your call, whatever you have to do. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. And after we take a look at this, we're going to take a look at my Zarude encounter. Let's see what kind of IVs I got. And we're going to be maxing it out, folks, and getting it ready and prepped for when we do use it. And go Battle League is going to be pretty awesome. So he is at, let's see, 150. Let's see if we can get it into the yellow here. And there we go. He is making the threshold time of getting into, into the yellow at about 150 seconds there. He is ahead of schedule. So let's see what does happen here in continuing on. Maybe a, he did say he did have a bit of a bad RNG. That does happen where, say, you get to a charge move and you're going to be getting it off. But they kind of hit you when you're in the middle of it. Therefore, you're not going to be able to gain energy for that charge move. So you can't get them off as fast. Something of that you know, nature. Uh, as far as the Genesect solo here with these moves, Moltres really doesn't have too much to worry about. Unless you do go down when you're about to get off a charge move. Uh, that could be a bit of a dilemma. It's slowing you down a bit. And it could be the difference between beating it or not. Depending upon the levels of your Pokemon as well as the attack IVs for your Shadows. If you're using Shadows. Uh, but anyways, with that said, you can do this without Shadows. You can do it with Reshiram and um, with uh, Mega Charizard Y. Uh, sunny Weather, of course. So, And bear with me, folks. If I don't sound the most enthusiastic, I am in excruciating pain right now. I'm not going to get into details, but yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Hopefully get better. All right, so we're going to get it into the red here. Great. This is good. And at 80 seconds looking fantastic if you're behind schedule getting it into the red uh, i'd say like you're pushing it at around 75 seconds 72 73 still potentially comfortable uh but you kind of want to stay ahead of the game because it tends to stop you before the raid is over and that is another not the main reason why i stopped kind of doing solo raid challenges but there is so many bugs involved you know it's so annoying and frustrating in the most upsetting part is going to be time consuming sitting in the raid lobby if these errors occurred yeah they're annoying but if i can just skip the lobby no problem okay we'll try again do it really quick see if we can get through this and just try again okay i messed up okay we'll skip the lobby again and keep going but you can't do that so uh sitting there for that long every time it consumes your time it gets annoying so down to the wire here he is ahead of the game looking good no problem at all these moltres are just absolutely tearing it up got the entei at the end 
and it is a shadow. So let's go finish it off with the shadow Entei. And we are down to 15 seconds. Looks like that's when he completed it. And then the confetti popped around 13 or 12 seconds there. So well done. Looking good. Hopefully it's going to inspire you to potentially try to do this yourself. And I'm not saying to go out there and invest in a whole team of Shadow Moltres or anything like that. But, you know, there's people out there who can, who've, who've done it as well like that. So you don't have to worry about making a full team of those. But nice Latios NYC. Link down below to his channel if you want to check him out. And let's go ahead and move on to the Zarud here and see what we have going on. So I did get out there and do the rocket stuff and just completed it. Honestly, folks, my grind out there on the street has slowed down dramatically. I am walking a lot, but it's barren over where I'm at. So there's really nothing to spin and you know, there's Pokemon that spawn, you know, here and there like everywhere else, but it's not like a city. So yeah it's not that i'm demotivated i'm still in the game as much as ever it's just i've been very busy all right so taking a look at Zarud here um it's going to be number nine in the classic master leagues so no xl pokemon that's stinking good it's going to be a dark and grass type i got some pretty good ivs i suppose all right not bad at all it's going to be landing on a pretty clean number we'll take a look at that this is going to be a mythical so getting candies for it walking good luck okay um, so we're going to go ahead and just invest in this right away. Take a look at the different leagues. It's not going to really do too great in the other leagues. I mean, 75 is not so bad if you do get an XL one day, I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, and then in the Ultra League, yeah. But where it's going to be shining is going to be the Master League Classic. So we have ours all prepped up here. Well, not quite. We're going to go ahead and get it ready with the moves first. And then we're going to go ahead and power it up. And this is why I love holding on to rare candies. And we're looking at a 70% win rate in the classic Master League with a 30% loss. Taking a look at its losses, Genesect, and then, yeah, I mean, <laughs> those things are going to annihilate it being a grass and dark type Zarud over here. And then the Pokemon is going to absolutely destroy. Ah, it's not, we don't really need a Suicune. You're not going to see that in a Master League, right? Maybe once in a Blue Moon but uh, not really too often when you rise up in ranks. So anyways, it's looking pretty good here. I'm excited to test it out. Very interesting move set. And let's go ahead and power the sucker up here. I don't know, I just kept on. <laughs> I don't know what I was waiting for, but we're gonna eventually do it, don't worry. Here we go, there it is. All right, 3800 looking clean. If you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you all next time. Take care. Fantastic.